from CN8, the Comcast Network. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Now, from our Trenton Bureau, here's Lynn Doyle. Hello, and thanks for joining us for Comcast Newsmakers Campaign 98. This hour's newsmaker is Edward Robb Forshone, who is a candidate for the 1st Congressional District of New Jersey on the Legalized Marijuana Party. Our topic today is his candidacy. Bob, thank you very much for joining us. Hi, how are you, Lynn? I'm fine, thank you. Tell me why you decided to throw your hat into the political arena and seek a seat in the congressional district. Well, it's, it's time for the myth of marijuana to be thrown out. We need someone in office who wants to uh, change the law, reform the law. So you are basing your entire candidacy on changing the marijuana laws in this country? That is the number one reason. I have other other issues, but that one reason alone will attract thousands of people. You are the candidate from the Legalized Marijuana Party. Is this a legitimate independent or third party party in this state? Yes, it is. It is now. I formed it. What kind of response have you gotten to it? I've gotten a lot of positive responses from people, from individuals. Citizens are always, you know, I get the thumbs up sign when I ride around. Uh, it's, it's gaining. Why do you think that at this point in time in our society, it is time to legalize marijuana? Look at the tobacco industry right now. Look at the uh, toba tobacco settlement. At this time, everyone knows that a couple hundred thousand people die each year of, mar of tobacco. No one dies of marijuana, yet they throw marijuana users in jail, marijuana sellers in jail. Tobacco, the tobacco industry, they talk about settlement. They talk about, uh, they discuss things, why it, it's, it's just not right. When there are so many issues that Congress deals with on a day-to-day -day basis, why do you think this one should take precedence? Should, should it be so important? Well, the war on drugs meets up $17 billion a year. It's in, and the number one illegal drug is marijuana. Uh, our jails are overflowing with, uh, with prisoners. Uh, nonviolent prisoners and marijuana users shouldn't even be in jail. Uh, our prisons should be, prison spaces and resources should be more uh, occupied by, by violent criminals, by uh, victim crimes, not victimless criminals. Do you have any statistics as to how many people might use marijuana at some point in this country? Well, I've read at least 71 million people have tried marijuana somewhere around 30 million people identify themselves as regular users uh, and I am one of them. You mentioned earlier that there are other issues that concern you in addition to legalizing marijuana. What would some of those issues include? Say father's rights. I believe a father should not be just a paycheck. A father should be a father. He should be given equal time for visitation just like a mother is. I think uh, uh, that's one issue. Uh, say gun control. I'm, I'm for gun control. Say the insurance industry. In this state, in, this, in New Jersey, we have one of the highest insurance rates in the country. Uh, and nothing's being done about it. No one, none of the uh, elected officials, none of the current elected officials have done anything about it. Uh, say Governor Whitman, she ran on this assumption that she was going to lower insurance rates and nothing has been done. If there was a message that you wanted to leave in the minds of the voters when they go into that booth in November, what would it be? Well, it's a, it's a freedom issue. I believe that, that America is going to be either free or it's going to be drug free. It's not going to be both. I believe I'm free, I'm not a criminal, and marijuana should be legal. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you. This hour's newsmaker has been Edward Robb Forshion from the Legalized Marijuana Candidate from the 1st Congressional District of New Jersey. I'm Lynn Doyle for Comcast Newsmakers. For more local information, tune in to CN8, the Comcast Network.